Mary also had a number of little um, kind of mannerisms. She had like that little squeal that she did. And that was the, and that's what I called the angst. Yes. Mm. Like that or yep. something, I yep. don't know, it was like that. Uh, and then I remember once losing it for a few days. I couldn't find my angst, my little angst piece. But, um, oh, in this scene. The finger wipe, yeah. That was just because I would keep getting lipstick on my teeth. And I never knew when the cameras were there because there were four cameras at all times. So I learned, I learned to do that instead of someone stopping me all the time. I could feel when I had it, and so I would do that. But I know it's like Belmondo does that. Yeah, it played as just an interesting little quirk I know. that she had. It was interesting, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so Mary also had a very defined look her hair, her wardrobe. Tell us a little bit how that informed her character. Well, when I met the costume designer, and I said, you know, I like reds and blue. I like pinks and blues. I like, I went to all that. And then she went and said, from everything I said, she said, I'd like to make a costume for you. Because no one in those shows had like a, that kind of a separate costume before. She came back and made this gingham. And, and I had said, can I wear my hair in braids? I always want my hair in braids. And they said, yes, of course, like that. So everything was working out, you know, and to putting her together, which is so odd because it was so unusual to have this woman, Rita Riggs, that was a brilliant costume to take through everything.